This is the third day of what's going to be 15 straight consecutive days of scores of people each day getting arrested in front of the White House to call upon Obama to essentially do what he said he was going to do when he ran for president in 2008, take action to protect the planet in peril. My name is Rick Chamberlain. I'm from Sauk City, Wisconsin, and I'm here. Uh, I come from the land of Leopold and John Muir uh, because climate change is already dramatically affecting our state. Um, our own scientists have told us that since the 1950s we've seen uh, uh, a doubling of the amount of severe rainfall events in Wisconsin. We're also losing about uh, a week of ice cover on our lakes um, in Wisconsin because of climate change. That's just since the 1950s. Um, a week of ice cover for every decade. And that rate is accelerating. And uh, we just, it's time to draw a line in the sand. And uh, that's why I'm here. Canada is ramping up its efforts to, to send the dirty tar sands to us. This one pipeline would increase several fold our use of tar sands oil. It will increase CO2 emissions alone from this carbon intensive energy equal to adding six million new cars internal combustion engine cars to our country. This is a big new pulse of carbon for the atmosphere. It's an escalation of infrastructure development to bring it to America. Um, it's just a new, whole new level with this pipeline, and that's why we're here protesting. We're, we're asking President Obama to make the right decision because he can decide yes or no on the tar sands pipeline. He doesn't need Congress involvement. TransCanada, the, the mega corporation that wants to build this pipeline, has to have a quote-unquote presidential permit to build this pipeline across our international border. And the president gets to decide that. So President Obama has a clean shot to make the right decision or the wrong decision. If he makes the wrong decision, it's going to send sharply negative signals to Detroit and to American consumers everywhere that we're still heavily addicted to filthy uh, fossil fuels. If he makes the right decision, and he says no to this, he's going to send the same opposite and positive signals to markets that we're finally turning a corner on our dirty energy addiction. And by the way, Obama simultaneously in saying no to this pipeline could go a long way in reassuring and shoring up his progressive voting bloc, which frankly is deeply demoralized right now.